four months in Indonesia set us up for the local food hot and spicy. It's taken a long time and in Indonesia where food was measured by the mile, we took our chances sometimes, but every time it worked out. So here in uh, Malaysia, we've been doing the street food thing and we've had most things brown and uh, <laughs> fried squid, dried squid and uh, never found out what that one was. This is dried squid, didn't taste it, didn't much fancy it. But uh, the kebabs were good, you can get the kebabs for 1 ringgit 50, which is about 30p. And uh, freshly made lamb, chicken or beef, uh, dried squid, yuck. Uh, but this was the best, uh, freshly made Thai green curry. Uh, all the fresh ingredients, vegetables, chicken, and of course your obligatory uh, chilli. And there you go, supplied with a pretty Vesuvius-like soup. Um, uh, that took some doing, but uh, and went for the, uh, the steamed dumplings, which were a bit more palatable for her. A uh, slightly more delicate taste. Have a look. Yeah, right. Okay. And you get it all with a cup of tea for about four pounds for two people. Laksa is one of the traditional staples and uh, we were told to go get some of this, this famous stall. So uh, we went around the local temple and after that came back. Uh, we were got the laksa, which is I think, it's a kind of ground beef, I think, and with some vegetables and of course curry powder. It's pretty hot, but very tasty. The stalls are all pretty much the same. Um, our son-in-law who used to work in Food hygiene and legislation would have a bit of a fit, but uh, we've survived so far. I have to say the food has been great. The only time we've got anything bad has been in a fancy hotel. Uh, this stuff is uh, it's pretty good. Maybe it's a curry that keeps it safe. How is it? Afterburn? Mm. Well, you can always wash it down with some uh, fresh sugar cane juice. Head out into the jungle, get some cane, chop it up into a size you can carry on your scooter, and then shove it through the squisher. And out comes freshly juiced uh, sugar cane. Stick it in a plastic bag, add a plastic straw, a handful of ice and uh, you get a whole bar of the plastic and a fairly natural drink although I'm not entirely sure just how good it is for you. The important thing though is to drink it through clenched teeth to siphon out the flies. And for dessert, maybe some deep fried banana uh, or some crispy pancakes created fresh all day, every day. Yours for the taking. End up with a cup of tea and Bob's your uncle.